Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see the syllabus and the important topics that you have to cover for Bach Trifentry Trainee Category 1 examination. Okay, so uh, there is an examination going to happen from Bach, which is for Trifentry Trainee. And there is actually two recruitments happening, Category 1 and Category 2. The Category 1 is for Diploma Candidates. And uh, two locations of Bach is actually recruiting. One is from Tarapur and the second one is from Mysore. So here we are going to see the syllabus and the important topics from each subject that you have to cover for Bar Stipendary Trainee Category 1. Okay, so the Category 1 examination is going to be a one-hour examination. It will be having 40 questions and uh, all the questions will be from your respective subject or discipline. That is, whichever branch uh, you are belonging to, only that branch questions will be there. There won't be any aptitude reasoning or any questions. This thing they have mentioned clearly in the notification. Okay. And also, for every correct answer that you are giving, you will be getting 3 marks. And for uh, wrong answers, 1 mark will be deducted. This is going to be the marking scheme. Now, uh, let us see the important topics in syllabus for Bach Stipendary Training Category 1 Electronics. Okay. So, first let us see the subjects. Then we will be seeing the topics. Okay. So, the subjects that you have to study are, first one is Basic Electronic Engineering. Then, second one, Digital Electronics. Analog Electronics, Electromagnetic Theory, Communication Systems, then Electro, Electronic Measurement and Instrumentation, Computer Networks, then Embedded Processors, that is Microprocessor and Microcontroller, Signals and Systems Basics and Control System Basics. Only basic things you have to study, you don't have to go too deep into this because it is a Diploma Syllabus. Then, VLSI Design and Technology, again, not too deep, but you have to cover the basics. So, these are the uh, important subjects that I have included. The other subjects will be seen while discussing the topics, okay. So, going on to the topics, first one is Basic Electronic Engineering. From the Basic Electronic Engineering, it is actually covering all the basics. So, you have to study the basic components like active components and passive components and they are working and some theory questions and also you can expect small numerical questions like uh, from the resistor area or from the capacitor or inductor these type of questions you can expect then the basic processes that are happening in electronic devices all these are very important okay so that is the uh, topic or syllabus which i have included from basic electronic engineering subject next from communication systems you have to study am fm and PM its basics that is amplitude frequency and phase modulation then from the AM session actually you can expect a lot of questions there can be questions from power equation area uh, the questions uh, from FM PM problems numericals and theory both are important then super heterodyne receiver its problems very very important then the concepts of TDMA FDMA and CDMA then ASK PSK FSK its data rates the relation between the data rates and all that are important then random variable power spectral density these are from digital communication actually then also you have to cover the basics of itc not too deep but you should be knowing about the basic concepts of codes and uh, its error correction and all and also you have to study optical and satellite communication their basics also okay so that is also included in the communication system subject next from the control system as i have told it is only you have to only cover the basic topics, open loop, closed loop, uh, concepts and transfer function. Only that much is uh, necessary, not too deep. Okay. Next, electronic measurement and instrumentation. This subject is very, very important, especially for diploma syllabus. So, you have to cover resistor problems, tolerance, related problems, then equations, error problems and equation, capacitor and inductor problems, then instrument properties, CARA, PMNC, its basics and also problems, transducers, various type of transducers, working principle, then CRO, DSO, its theory, ammeter, voltmeter problems, then single phase, three phase, energy meter, thermistor, thermocouple, strain gauge, all the these type of instruments, their uh, principles it can be either theory, mostly theory will be there only, okay. So you have to uh, study all the uh, concepts of these instruments, okay. Theory questions you can expect. Next, from signals and systems, only basic things you have to study. Basic signals, signal properties, some signal operations and 
uh, transforms. Okay, only that much is required. Next, analog circuits is a very important subject. Amplifiers, oscillators, multi vibrators, Schmidt trigger, all these are important. Clipper, clamber, wave shaping circuits. Then op amp is a very important area. Op amp it's CARA and problems. Then also BJT, FET, MOSFETs, and filters. That is all the type of filters. These are very important. So we have actually done uh, separate separate videos for all these topics. If you see the playlist session, you can see that there is subject wise playlist created for all the important subjects. Uh, in those subject playlists, you can see these topics. Okay. Next, from digital circuits, again a very important subject. Digital circuits, you have to cover Boolean simplification, logic gate simplification, then Boolean uh, expressions, its simplification, gate gate related expressions and gate simplification questions, number systems, then mux, dmux, encoder, decoder, gray converter, flip-flops, adders and converters, all these are very important. Then k-map and also you have to study some basics of state machines, that is mode type and melee type, then ADC, DAC, uh, the bit related numerical questions, uh, the resolution related, all these are important. Then PLA and also the memory. RAM, ROM, various types of memories are also important. Okay, so these are the subjects, uh, or the, sorry, the topics that you have to cover from the digital circuit. Next is EMT, microwave, antenna, and radar. All these I have included as a single uh, area. And the topics that you have to cover from this area is basic wave properties, which is actually from EMT, then type of waves, waveguides, and transmission lines. All these are the topics from EMT. Next, from microwave, you have to study clistron, TWT. Uh, and uh, some microwave devices that much is required antenna is a very important area antenna problems and also antenna properties type of antennas all these are very important okay then radar also very important radar various types of radar and problems related to radar okay and the radar range equation is very important because there can be questions related to various variables in the range equation if one variable is changed by this time, what is the effect in the range? These type of questions there can be. Then next subject is semiconductor theory and EDC. From semiconductor theory, you have to study the semiconductor properties, properties, extrinsic and intrinsic semiconductor, the CARA, then Zener diode, it is actually from EDC, and Zener diode, tunnel diode, the properties of Zener diode, Zener diode is a voltage regulator. All these are important topics from EDC okay and also you have to study half wave rectifier full wave rectifier MOSFET and from the rectifiers itself you can uh, expect small problems then questions from ripple factors then power and voltage equation all these are important next another very very important subject uh, is network theory which I have not actually included in the subject area so here I am uh, discussing that network theory mostly problems or numerical questions will be there from network theory you have to study network theorems, then problems related to network analysis, finding of voltage, current values of one particular branch or flowing through one particular component, then resistor related problems, circuit problems, KVL, KCL, network analysis, nodal analysis, all these are very important. So these are the important topics that you have to cover from network analysis subject. And also if you study the basics of first order, second order systems and all the other uh, areas connected with it, it will be good only, okay. Next is computer network and switching theory. So, from the computer network, you have to study LAN, MAN, WAN, all these topics. Then TCP IP model, OSI model, IP protocols and congestion control. These are the topics from computer theory. From th switching theory, you have to study circuit switching, packet switching, its basics and all, okay. This much is sufficient. Next. Next subject is actually embedded processors. So it actually includes microprocessor and microcontroller. So from this uh, area, you have to study the important instructions, registers, there is general purpose and special function registers. Then memory related questions, interrupts, then timers, counters, their concepts and all. Okay, so these are the areas that you have to study from embedded processors. And also if you study small assembly coding uh, snippet related questions, then it will be very good okay so these are the topics you have to study from embedded processors next vlsi design 
Only basic things you have to cover. VLSI design, the various fabrication steps. What are the steps involved in fa fabrication? And what are the things which we are, we are doing in those steps? So that much will be sufficient. Okay. So uh, that is the last subject that I have included. VLSI design and technology. Okay. So these are the topics or these are the subjects that you have to study. Actually, if you talk about the uh, syllabus, it is actually all important subjects you have to study. But if you are going for an end time preparation, at least this much of topics you should cover. Okay, before writing the examination, you should cover at least this much of topics. Okay, so uh, this video is actually for the box type and tree trainee category one people who have applied for uh, that post or who are interested in applying for the post of Mysore. Okay, so if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Also share with your friends who's preparing for the category one examination. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.